Hello. Today we're going to make a spotlight card. And this is what it looks like. And we're spotlighting these flowers right here. Okay. And for this, of course, we need a card, a blank card. So here's a blank card. We need a white piece. And I messed up the other side, so I have to, I can use this side. That's okay. Alrighty. Um, we need a strip. That's a half inch strip. That's the length of, of your layer here. I'm using a flower, a flower image. So I, I have the, the, uh, the leaves and I have the flowers tops right here. And I chose green and blue and then my words. All right. So first things first, we need to take a ruler and we need to draw a line going across about two, two thirds of the way down. That should be about good. Okay, just go ahead and draw a nice light line. It doesn't have to be very dark. And you're not gonna erase it either because you're gonna actually cover it up with this. So if you can see better with a pen, go for it. Okay, alrighty, so now we need the green ink. And we need to get this inked up. And again, these are just the leaves. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. I'm very good. Okay, while I have this open, I may as well go ahead and do the words. And I think I want the words on this side this time. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now I can be done with the green. Put that over there. Okay, so now let me rinse these off. All right, that's better. I'm gonna make sure that they're staying clean for me. All righty, so now what we're gonna do is take the blue tops and we're gonna go ahead and add those on and try not to drop this this time. Last time I dropped it right down. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there. Okay. Now, let me get this. Wipe that up. Okay. Put that back on there. Perfect. Alrighty. Now, let's clean this one off. Spritz bottle. Alright. There. Now, we can put these over here to dry. Perfect. Alright. Then all we have to do is glue this down from one side to the other. And then we'll have to trim the little excess off. About right there. That looks good. Looks straight. Looks like it. Whoop. Yes, wow, I'm impressed. That looks pretty good. Okay, so then we can trim this little piece off. Get my scissors out here. All right. Now, for the spotlight. For the spotlight, then I chose, you choose two of the same shape. Well, you can use two different shapes if you really want to, but it's easier if you use two, two of the same shape. You need one slightly larger than the other, okay? so. I've got a one inch circle and I have a one and an eighth inch circle. So the spotlight is the color. So I've already cut out a one and an eighth of an inch circle. So now I need to find where I wanna cut a one inch circle out. I can do it here, I can do it here, I can do it over here, I can do it over here. You know what, maybe we can do it here. That might be kind of pretty. Let's do it right there. And it doesn't really matter where you wanna do it. If you wanna do it off to the side, I think Maybe right here. Let's do it right there. So you just punch a hole. That's pretty easy peasy, huh? Okay, 
and then this is going to go right on top of this so but we're going to 3d that on so we need my little tin where did i put it right here with my little 3ds on here okay so we can turn this over put this on there and that should fit right in there okay just like a puzzle Alrighty, looking good. Okay, so now this is going to be taken off, and then we're going to line this up right in the middle of this circle. Try to line it up as best as you can, right in the middle there. Okay, so now you can throw that away. Okay, then we have our card left, so we can either leave it white, we can run this through a folder if you want to, that would look pretty neat. Um, you know what, as a matter of fact, I think I am going to run this one through a folder because I have a little dink right here. So it's a little ripple and I'm not liking that. So let me do that. My favorite polka dots, of course. <laughs> if I could only have one folder, this would be it. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Squish this, move that out of the way. And this is if you want to run it through the folder. I, like I said, I am choosing to do it. I wasn't going to, but then I realized that, that fold is, or that ripple's right in the middle, and I, I didn't like the way that looked. And this is a good way to disguise that. There you go. See, now you can no longer see that wrinkle in the middle. And I like that better. All right. Funny how little things will happen that you don't like, but you, there's always some way you can disguise it, even if it's just put a sticker on it, cover it with a butterfly. <laughs> That's why I like to have lots of butterflies and, and little tiny flowers. All right, so now this can either go on a blue card like this, or we can go ahead and put it on a white card and just 3D it so it'll be a white on white. Ooh, I might like that one. Because I did the folder background, I think I'm gonna do white on white this time. Because it is a folder background and that gives it a different look. All right, and then this needs to be placed on here. So let's go ahead and let's get some glue around here first. Because we've gotta glue this on. All righty. We want it mainly around the outer edge and we don't want it to goosh all over the place. Alrighty. I'll put that on the paper there. Okay. So now we can line this up where it belongs. That looks perfect. Okay. Ta da! There. So now we can go ahead and we can put this on here. Do I want to 3D it on or do I want to lay it flat? I think I'm going to lay this one flat. Huh. That's funny. It's going to look... It, it's the same exact colors, the same exact things, but you know what? Just that be, the blue trim going around or the folder, that really made a difference, didn't it? Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And if you don't have the blue sheet... A quarter sheet then you can do what I did on this one that's just a white card that I just used a brush and brush the blue around the edges that's all I did that's pretty nifty boy this really makes a big difference they look so different but yet they're so similar the same exact supplies that's funny huh and then you can add gems if you want to. You can add a little bow if you want to. You can decorate it there or bling it out whatever way you want to. So, and again, this is called a spotlight card. All right, so let me show you the, the one we just did. Isn't that neat? And then here's the other one. Which one do you like better? Do you like the, the trim better, the blue trim better, or do you like the folder one better? It's hard to 
it's hard to choose for me. But I think I do like the folder better just because it's polka dots and I love the polka dots. So <laughs> let me know which one if you prefer one over the other in the in the comments. That's always fun to hear. Alrighty, so again the spotlight technique. Have you ever done this before or not? Have you ever seen it before? Have you ever heard of it? Um, let me know and I hope you give this a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.